The Bay Gonda Foundation is a girl empowerment organization educating and equipping young girls with creative art skills while also encouraging them to take advantage of their education. Here to discuss more about their work is the executive director, Erica Varis. Erica, thanks so much for hey, joining us. Hey, thank you for having me. Yes. Appreciate I, it. Yeah, I really loved uh, learning a little bit about Bay Gonda, the Bay Gonda Foundation, and all the amazing work that you guys are doing. Before our viewers who have maybe never heard of your foundation, give yeah. us an overall view of who you are and what you do. Our, like you said, our um, organization empowers young girls. We've been doing this in the Bay Area for 20 years through our wow. sewing camps. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where it started. I, I saw a need in our community to give girls access and a place, a safe space to come. And so the sewing camp was birthed out of that need. And then from that need, I thought, well, I have this extreme love for Africa, and I was able to go to Uganda to teach the sewing camp also. Wow. And long story short, I became the executive director of the Bay Gonda Foundation through that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So kind of a crazy sequence of events. Yeah, and ha yeah. have loved the continent and um, have an affinity for girl children Yeah. Um, and want to see them just do big things. That's so beautiful. In their life. So through the Bayganda Foundation, I know you started out with kind of the sewing classes, helping teach them certain skills like that. But what other ways and programs does Bayganda Foundation offer to young girls? So through our sewing camps, um, those are resources that we give back to the organization to provide tuition and boarding school costs for girls in Uganda. Wow. So the girls here in the Bay Area are um, directly committed, their families are committed to giving back in that way. I'm able to give them that skill mm -hmm. and then their resources are able to give education to girls. Oh my goodness. So all of these actually help benefit young girls over there physically in Uganda, especially when it comes to the education. Yes, for the last 17 years, we've been directly giving back for education in Uganda. It is a very uh, volatile country. Mm -hmm. The girl children are um, not seen and not heard mm -hmm. and it allows our girls here to see a girl and be inspired by that story mm -hmm. and to want to educate and to want help educate because we we live in a, a place you know where we're blessed to have education and Absolutely. free education and so our organization through the sewing camps give directly back to that in Uganda that is so incredible doing amazing things for both young girls here in the Bay Area and over there in Uganda. And what I really love is kind of that cross relationships, right? The girls are able to be here and help raise funds and then go and see the, the young girls who it's directly impacting. Absolutely. And we've had a few of our SOWAT alum come to Uganda and visit with me mm -hmm. and give back. And, and it, it brings perspective when you have a girl here and there, there's a girl in Uganda. Mm -hmm. And I think about my nine-year-old self. We all want to be seen and heard, Absolutely. no matter where we live. We mm -hmm. want to be seen, we want to be heard, and we want to do something amazing with our life. Mm -hmm. And so the organization empowers girls to do that. And what, what have you received from the young girls, especially in Uganda? What kind of feedback have you heard from them? Or maybe even the stories you've seen, how this has changed their lives? I mean, I think about our oldest girl, Shifra. She's 25 right now. I met Shifra when she was seven. Wow. She just graduated from medical school. <gasps> oh She's my gosh. a doctor. No and way. And through, through our organization, yeah. we've been able to do that for her. Oh my gosh, please. That's and amazing. Without our organization, she would not have been able to do elementary school, secondary, or university. And so that brings me so much joy mm -hmm. to know that our organization, the girls, the families here in the Bay Area, dads, teachers, everyone is giving back in this way to see a child like Shifra grow up and do something amazing with her life. That is so beautiful. You are really giving me chills over here and I could I could truly see the passion and the love that you have for this and helping these young girls. So thank you, first of all, yeah, for what absolutely. you're doing. Absolutely. To have girls being heard and seen out there. Because at the end of the day, like you said, even when I was younger, that is the biggest thing we want as young yeah. women. We want to be heard, we want to be seen, and just give an opportunity absolutely. to accomplish our dreams. Absolutely. So beautiful things that you are doing here. And you have a fundraiser coming up this weekend. So a lot of people can actually get in on this. Absolutely. We have a fundraiser. Um, I was there in Uganda in January and my husband directed a really beautiful documentary of the work that I personally have done with the girls in, in a way that I really haven't, hadn't even seen. Mm -hmm. And so the documentary is documenting 
the last 17 years of my life being in Uganda, but you also get a glimpse of what it's like to be a girl child in Uganda right now. And you hear from some of the girls and the fundraiser um, will be at CL Creative Space in Berkeley mm -hmm. this weekend on Sunday from one to four. And we, we need to raise money for our next year's tuition. And so that's what this fundraiser is about. And it will be, a, it's a really beautiful film. It's short, it's about 45 minutes. So folks come out and, and check us out and mm -hmm. you can visit us online to give that way. Um, but I just encourage people to whatever that thing is, and I believe that we all have something in us that um, propels us in life, mm -hmm. that thing that keeps you up at night, that yeah. why in us, find out what that is. Mm -hmm. And for me, it was nine years old writing a, a book report about Africa. Wow. And here I am. And here you 40 are. 40 years later. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I um, just encourage folks to come out and yeah. it'll be great. That's so beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that all with you. And one final question I have for you, Erica, before I let you go. You've kind of touched on it a little bit, but overall, what has this journey in the past 17 years and the work that you've done in Uganda meant to you personally? Wow. Um, I think it has, um, it's given me a lot of perspective. Mm -hmm. um, it also has really clarified for me the thing that I've been chosen to do in this life. Mm. And those things, I, I think, we don't choose them sometimes, they choose us. Yeah. And that's what it's done for me. Even when I think, oh, I probably, during COVID, I, I will never go back to Uganda. This mm -hmm. is kind of, this is it, it was great. But I went back in January, I'm going back again this January and I, I just can't stay away because yeah. this is my thing. This is, this is the call on my life. And that has been, I think, what I've learned in this is that we all have that call. What is it? Yeah. Whether we pick it up or not, it's still Find there. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Erica, thank you for all for you are doing, me. and thank you for sharing that information. Make sure if you guys do want to get involved, one more time, the website. Bayganda.org. Bayganda.org. Thank Bayganda. you so much, Erica. We you can follow it. us on Instagram as well. Thank you so much. Of course, we appreciate you.